Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a multiple picture-in-picture -picture or split-screen effect using a video effect inside of DaVinci Resolve called Video Collage. So we're going to be able to find the Video Collage effect over in the Effects Library, down in Open Effects in the Toolbox, and then if you scroll down to the category Resolve Effects Transform, you can find video collage right here. You could also use this search icon and then just type in collage and you should be able to find it immediately. So if we hover over this video collage effect, we can see that by default, we can have a background that can either be a video clip or you could just use a static image if you think that would be less distracting. And then you can have by default four other video clips showing at the same time with this split screen type of effect. Now that's just the default settings. You can customize it to have more spaces to show additional clips. You can also resize the dimensions of those boxes or take away the bounding of the corner, all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and drop the video collage onto this base video clip. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna assume that the video track one is gonna be our background. So if we left click on this video clip and we go over to effects, we can see you have workflow, create background, so if we take this video clip and we go up to the inspector in the top right, down on effects, we'll see our video collage plugin right here. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice is the workflow. So you have two options here, create background or create tile. So when you apply the video collage effect to a image or a video, you're going to be either creating the background or you're going to be creating one of these individual tiles. So I'm going to be copying the settings from this video collage plugin over to four additional video clips in order to create these additional tiles with the same settings. Now, so that you don't need to edit the settings on other video clips later, we can actually just set up everything ahead of time. So before we worry about the other clips, let's go ahead and customize some of the settings down here. So for instance, layout, if you have additional video clips you wanna show, you might want to bump the columns up by one. So this will create a three by two grid or six spaces. You can see that the size of each shape adjusts itself in order to fit the dimensions of the screen. Alternatively, you could do three by three for nine different clips showing at the same time. Or you could do two by three if you need the clips to show particularly wide instead. So if you wanna fill in more of this gap space, you can decrease the margins and spacing. So this will make it so that the video clips, the picture in picture clips are gonna be wider and they're gonna fill in more of the full video frame and leave less of the background showing through. It's all just about how you wanna customize this, how you want to lay everything out. I'll go ahead and reset these back to the defaults for right now. And, and so after you take care of your global settings, you're gonna wanna go over to the tiles tab over here. So in tiles, you can choose settings such as drop shadow for each of these clips where you can kind of give them a little bit of a shadow border, or perhaps more importantly, tile animation. If when you enter this particular clip, you want there to be a little bit of an animation for these tiles to fly onto the screen. Then if you come down here, you can do that really easily by changing the animate uh, option from manually keyframe to intro only, outro only, or intro and outro. So the difference here is that these are set up automatically. And once you choose them, no further settings are really necessary. So let's do intro and outro. And now you'll see the tiles disappear at frame zero. And then as we hit play, we'll get this reverse shrink effect where the boxes just enlarge until they get to their full size. But if we prefer, we can choose one of these other animations instead. So fly can look like this, where they come in from one of the sides. So the side that they come from is set by this fly animation. So fly left means it's gonna come in from the left, fly up from the top down, so on and so forth. You also can do rotate if you want them. There's other animations you can throw in here. And as you can see, these are check boxes, so you can combine them. So if you want it to fly in and rotate onto the screen, you can do that. So that could look like this. Maybe doesn't work so well when the boxes are so big. So that can end up looking like this. Might work a little better if the boxes are smaller with a bigger margin. Uh, you can add fade so they won't be fully visible until they get to their main spot there. And you can even throw in the shrink animation as well. So any combination of these settings here you could use to create some simple animations and you don't have to manually keyframe it 
which is where you set the values at specific times in your video and then resolve will animate between those values it just requires a little bit more work there and of course since we have animate intro and outro then if we go to the end here we can see that the reverse animation will happen as our main clip ends all of the picture in picture clips also exit the scene so depending on if all of your clips are going to fit these frames perfectly or not you can look at tile styling so the default color for any empty space in this tile that isn't filled by your video is going to be yellow we can see what that yellow looks like by adding in a little bit of tile border so you can either have a border that goes outside of your clips or you can actually have it go inside which will kind of cut into your video frames a little bit but if you don't like the yellow then you can just change the color to something more subtle and in the background like just a normal black color but if you don't like the yellow but if you don't like the yellow color then you can just change it to something more in the background such as a black color then go ahead and hit okay so the idea is that after you get all of these settings set up for yourself then you can start adding the other clips that you want to fill these tiles in and then just copy the settings from your plugin over to each clip so let's add in four additional video clips into each of these video timelines so i'm going to drag this into video track two video track three video track four and then video track five as well. So here's the trick to save you time and to make sure all of the clips are using the same video collage settings. We can hit control C on our original video clip, video track one with the video collage. And when we go up to each of the other clips, rather than control V for pasting the clip, we can use alt V for pasting the settings. So let's paste the settings into all of these video clips at once. I'm gonna select everything from video track 2 to video track 5 all the clips you want to be a tile i'm going to hit alt v so here you're going to get a pop-up menu and what we actually want to copy into the clips is going to be this video attribute of the plugins so that's going to copy the video collage into all of the clips that we have selected so let's go ahead and hit apply here and now we can see that the background changed because all of these video clips are uh, layered on top of video track 1 are uh, set to create background mode in the video collage so if we left click on each of the clips and go over to the effects page at the top we see the workflow is currently create background so we want to change that to create tile so let's go from create background to create tile we should see one pop into the space up here let's do the same thing for each of the other ones so create background goes to create tile we can see it still goes to spot one, but we want this to actually be in tile two. So manage tiles, make sure you're in tiles mode, by the way, manage tiles, active tile, change it to two, and it's going to pop over to this right hand spot. Just keep going with all of the other video clips that you need to fill the tiles. So create tile and then tile three, and finally create tile and then tile four. So now we have five video clips. One is serving as the background and four is serving as the video tiles. Let's go ahead and fit it to the screen. If we go to the start and hit play, we can see that because we copied the same settings, all of them are running with the same animation. They have the same margin settings for all of these tiles. And with this clip, which doesn't have the same width and height settings as the frame itself, we can see that the background color ended up being black instead of yellow, which is what we set it to. Now, if you want to remove this black area, we can still uh, work around that in several ways. So let's click on that video clip. So the easiest way to make this clip fill in the black space as well is going to be to increase the zoom a little bit. So we can either do that in the video collage settings for the tile under resize content, just increase the zoom. Uh, it looks like if we have it above about 1.05, it's going to fill in the gaps there. And as we can see by kind of scrubbing through the timeline, it looks good. So that will probably be sufficient for our needs there. Now, note you don't have to customize it there. You could just go over to the base video clip itself and you could increase the zoom. One advantage of doing it here is that you can unlink the X and Y. So maybe you just want to scale the Y instead of the X. So that's an extra thing that you wouldn't be able to see over on the effects page. So just keep in mind these video settings are an option for you as well. One other thing you're going to want to know is that for the animations to look right, you're going to want the start and end of your video clips here to match up nicely. So here you can see that this video clip here and in uh, video track three 
is quite short. So when it gets to the part where it does its animation, we can see that the animation occurs before it ends for all the other video clips. So one option would be to shrink the duration of all your other video clips to the same size so that they all execute their animations at the same time and you don't end up with any black space. Another option could be that if you have a short video clip, but maybe you want to show two video clips inside of one area, then you could create a compound clip. So here I'm going to add another video clip to the timeline here. And then let's go ahead and cut away the extra space over here. So with these two video clips, I'm going to select them, holding shift down and left clicking on each one, right click, and then do new compound clip. So I'm just going to call it compound clip one. So now what I want to do is to make sure that the fly out effect happens at the end of this compound clip. So I'm going to double click the compound clip in our media pool to open it up. So I'm going to right click on this compound clip, go to open in timeline. I'm going to control C to copy this inside clip with the animation. And then let's go over to the effects and remove the video collage. We're going to be pasting this onto the compound clip itself. So reopen the timeline. Now take this compound clip and do Alt V. So we're going to paste the plugin in now. In effects, we can see it says active tile 2. Since we deleted it from the inside clip, it's only going to be playing this effect on the compound clip now. So it'll act as one thing. So if we go to the start and hit play, we can see the animation for the compound clip works well. And then if we go over here to the end and keep hitting play, then we'll see that the fly out animation occurs at the right time. So this ends up being one way that you can extend one of your tiles to have a longer duration and then play the animations at the right time. So now we just need to make sure that all of our clips are trimmed to match the original background clip and the animation should adjust their timing automatically. So I'm going to hit B to go into blade edit mode and then I'm going to cut at the border and get all of these additional clips lined up. And then I'm going to delete all of this extra space at the end here. And now our picture in picture effect should be lined up nicely. So if we go to the end here and hit play, everything should be synchronized and they all fly out at the right time because they all have the same timing. So this gives us our basic picture and picture effect with four tiled video clips and one background. Just as easily, you could have static images on the timeline and have them serve the same purpose. Uh, but this is basically the way you can do a multiple picture in picture effect or a split screen effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. So video collage, very helpful. Hopefully all of you learned a lot from this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my future video content.